So this is a question about talking to your kids about news and the election. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying I don't necessarily know if my approach is the best approach, but my philosophy is that for the most part, you should be honest with kids about what's happening in the world. Um, news is important. It's important for them to have an understanding of what's happening as truthfully based as possible. I don't unnecessarily scare my children, but if the reality is scary for them, as it often is for adults, then I think that's something we should talk about. But what I don't believe is very useful is omitting things or misrepresenting things or sugarcoating them to making them more palatable for kids because this is real life. This is what's really happening in the world. And as a journalist, I've always felt that it's incredibly important to shine light and bear witness on what's happening in the world. So I just don't see the point in aiding my children in turning away from the truth when I think it's our moral obligation to witness it. So when my kids ask me questions about what's happening in the world, I explain it to them in the uh, most honest and basic way possible. For example, when we talked about the protests and the civil unrest that we were seeing around the country, particularly over the summer, I talked about the history of black people in this country and how a lot of black people feel like they are mistreated, that they have been mistreated for centuries. We talked about the history of enslavement. We talked about systemic racism and systems that continue to oppress people of color that's proven statistically. We've talked about the ways that it's impacted members of our families and why um, people are in the streets and what they want. So that's an example of something that maybe is not pleasant to talk about, but really important. And I want my kids to understand what's happening in the world. So that's our take. Unless they see blood on TV, then I say it's ketchup. <laughs>